Hey fellow Wixers, are you ready to discover eight underrated Wix features you probably don't know about? If so, join me in today's video here on Wix Training Academy. I'm the founder and owner of the Wix Training Academy, Michael Patrick Strout, and I'm pleased to have you here. If you are brand new to this channel, first and foremost, click that subscribe button in the bottom right of this video so that way you never miss an episode here on the Wix Training Academy. Now, where does today's video stem from? It stems from this blog post I posted just a couple of weeks ago about eight underrated Wix features features you probably don't know about. You could come read the blog post by clicking the link in the description below and heading over to the Wix Training Academy. Even join the free Wix Training Academy and get access to tons of free content. But today I'm going to go ahead and show you where each of these features is located and how you could kind of utilize it to make the best website possible and why they are so underrated. So the first and foremost is cinemagraphs. What are cinemagraphs? Well, cinemagraphs are a cool visual element that you could add to your website that are similar to a picture, but they have moving elements in it, which kind of combines picture and video. So let me show you how we add it. So if we're just in the Wix editor here, and you go to any page, any strip, any uh, like box, anything like that, and you go to change page background, or you change the background of a strip, you could click that, and you could go here to video. Once you get in here, you're going to want to go to free from Wix, unless you have your own cinemagraphs, in which case you can upload it. But you're going to go to free from Wix, and we're going to go ahead and filter Wix's thousands of uh, free videos. And we're going to filter it to cinemagraphs. And once you do that, you're going to see a whole bunch of different cinemagraphs pop up here. Now, let's go ahead and just select one that we could use to show in today's video. So let's just say we're going with the snowy mountain. So you could get a preview of it and play it. You could see the clouds are moving, but the mountain is completely still. This is an example of one of Wix's cinemagraphs. Now let's just say we want a def different one. Maybe we're ready for some coffee. It's, it's in the morning, people are coming to your coffee shop, they want to visualize that coffee. So we're going to click on this, and you could see the coffee steaming. It's a cold winter morning, and here you are to save the day, the business owner with a website that has steaming coffee coming off of it. I don't know about you, but that's attractive to me on a cold winter morning. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to the background. So we're now a coffee shop. Now, on static entry, it's just static. So when you change the background of your page or you change the background of a strip, again, I did a page just for example. I would recommend doing a strip because you can see now it's the entire page background. Not all that appealing unless that's how you want it to be. Um, but it's, it's static on and in the editor. But when you go to preview you'll notice that it's activated. So your published and preview site will be activated. And to activate it in the editor to get a little sample of you know what's going on here, you could click play. So that's cinemagraphs. Why are they cool? Well, they're cool because they add a good visual element and it's something different than strictly a video and something different than strictly an image. It's a combination of the two. So it's a cool visual effect. Number two on our list is the Google submission tool. So if we go into the dashboard here on this, sample site. The Google submission tool could be found under marketing tools and by going to get found on Google. So this is formerly known as the Wix SEO Wiz. So this whole Google submission tool takes you through <coughs> excuse me this entire process. So you click start now and it would go through this entire process. You would type in all the details it asks. It asks for business name and then it comes to a section where you're going to pick five major site keywords. So these will be the major keywords you want your website to rank for on Google. And this is where some keyword research using the Google AdWords keyword tool, keyword planner come into play and help you develop the best keyword strategy for your website. And then once you go through the list, it'll bring you through it fully automated checklist that'll tell you and analyze your current website to determine where your SEO is lacking and how you can improve it and it gives you a step-by-step -step checklist and all you have to do is go through that and one of those checklists and one of those check stops on the list is actually submitting and indexing your website to Google. So this is a very good tool because it indexes in about 30 seconds. So 
instead of waiting a traditional decent amount of time, maybe a day or two, your site could be indexed in 30 seconds using Wix's tool. Wix and Google have partnered up to create something pretty spectacular. In fact, my team and I have just introduced a new SEO solution. We've partnered with Mark Preston, a global SEO specialist, to provide SEO solutions. If you're interested in that, we are available for hire on that. You get to work exclusively with my team and Mark. You can click the link in the below. The click the link in the description below to check that out. And third on our list here, we've got customizable maps. So if you come in here to add over on the side and you go down to more, what we can do is we could see Google Maps and you have all of these options of different color maps. And if you click on one, let's just say we go the sky blue here, you can do this. You could come in here to design and you could change the colors around. You could make it a stretch so it stretches to the full width of the page so it's a full width map. And then you could come in here, change the address, uh, show zoom controls, dragging, and I even add a description of your office or whatever that may be. So this is kind of cool because it allows you to go ahead and dynamically display where your location is or where a certain location you're trying to display is located. By doing this, it builds some trust. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting over a cough here. It builds some trust and it allows your clients, customers, potential leads to see and build some credibility and authority there. So this is a customizable map and it's very cool because you get to change around the colors, the location, and dynamically display the locations needed. Now, if we scroll down the list, we have chat with customers. <coughs> Excuse me. To add this, what you would do is you go to Wix apps and then you would simply type in here chat and you'll see Wix chat by Wix if you click that you can click open app and you'll see that there's a little chat button displayed down here in the bottom right now you could come in here you could change the settings you could add a lead capture form you could change the layout you could change it to be a let's chat or that rounded button and then you could come in here and change the design so maybe we want the design to be something else we want it to be that color right there we want it to be that kind of ovalish type shape we want the layout to be the bottom left instead of the bottom right any of those decisions could be changed right here and what this does is Wix chat allows you to actually start chatting live with your potential customers when they enter your website so on the published website people can click this button and start chatting with you or they can leave you a chat to review later so you could come back to it and this chat can also be accessed from the Wix app on your mobile device or it can be accessed by going to customer management and your inbox. So your inbox right here. This is where your live chat can be uh, displayed. This is where it can be managed. And you could see right here live chat. And you could choose whether you're online or offline depending on if you want to receive notifications or you don't want to receive live chat at that single time and place depending on where you're at in your site development. So that's how live chat can be managed and it's a very powerful tool to have live chat on your website as it builds more trust and credibility with your visitors. Fifth on our list, we have create a members area. Now this one can get as complex as you want. So with the opening of Wix code, uh, you can now build very complex membership websites. In fact, my team and I build out very complex membership websites for clients on Wix. Now, if you're going with the surface level and you just want to build out a very basic members area, what you can do is you could come into here, uh, add apps, or you can go to add, and you could come down here to members and you could click add to site and what this would do is it's going to add another page to our website and I'll show you the process here to adding the members area currently loading loading adding all the portions of the members area and then you could click get started so this gives your uh, user a very basic members account where they could update their basic information, uh, my bookings, my account. So my bookings is if they book something on your website, they could create a bookings account, keep track of what they have booked with you or your services. If you use Wix stores, you can create a my wallet and also my orders so people can view their credit card and keep a credit card on file with your store. 
or they could view the orders that they've already purchased and track that. So this members area is good for those type of things. Now, it also comes with this little uh, login bar at the top, nice little widget here. Um, you could design this bar however you want. Having membership ability on a website is very useful and is very critical to help you start building a list, start building community, because these are big things you want to create with your website. What I'm going to say is, if you're looking to build a paid membership website, a membership website that's fairly complex and that you want to start posting data to so some user logs in they can access your content that type of thing you're going to want to custom build this and I don't just say this because our team builds membership websites I mean this with the truth of my heart because this will give you the best result possible so if you don't have the time to do that and you are interested in exploring that option of having our team build that out for you go ahead and click the link in the description or click work with us when you head over to Wix training Academy in that menu tab and we could go ahead and get that process started so this is creating a basic members area on your Wix website very underrated feature that you could start utilizing today that simply Sixth on our list is customer support. So guys, Wix actually offers quite a few different methods for customer support. Number one, they have this major Wix help center. So if you ever get stuck, get in a snag, first thing you should do is come over to this help center and type in a support article to find out or type in what issue you're experiencing to find out if they've already answered this or addressed it in some way, shape, or form. If they haven't, you may want to escalate it and if I go ahead and type in here, Wix support, <coughs> they've got a customer support line right here. Now, I know a lot of people have complained about Wix support in the past, about them being slow or not being able to help out, but I've personally been down to one of their support offices in Miami, and they do a really good job. They're very hard workers down there, and they really do work to resolve the issues you're experiencing. So just go ahead and utilize one of these methods. They also have a ticketing system, so if you want to submit a support ticket, you can do that as well, but Wix support is here to help you out. So go ahead and utilize them when needed. Hopefully you don't need to utilize it because hopefully this process just flows through seamlessly for you but sometimes we hit a snag and it's good to have that available seventh on our list guys is image editing so if we just pull up an image if I go to uh, the home page here and this is a strip let's see if we just got all right I'm gonna do this I'm just gonna go ahead and add an image in here okay um, I'm gonna upload media We'll pull from the computer. I'll grab a picture of me. I know you guys want to see me on here, right? You don't see me enough right here in the bottom right of your screen. Let's pull it up. It's going to upload. This is the Wix upload process. So you can add it to the page. And Wix actually offers image editing tools. So you could come in here. You could add filters to your images. You could see you could add a blur effect, uh, the Kennedy effect. You could lighten your image up. Um, you can add a whole bunch of different filters in here to add some cool effects to your images. In addition to that, if you double click an image, you're going to see this pop up. This allows you to choose a shape of your image, crop your image, um, change the proportions of your image, zoom in, in it, zoom in on an image. You can see I could change it to a circle and I could do it just like that and then what I could do is, is I could change this circle to the proportions that I want it rather than it being so obscure and obtuse like that so this circle looks more like I want it and then I move that image exactly where I want it just like that and I hit this apply button and simply our image is then edited exactly how I want if I want to remove the filter I just click none and then we've got our circular image that comes out as perfectly and as dynamic as we'd like it to and you can see you can mess with the proportions now of images this is something a lot of people didn't know you can do on Wix but it allows you to take greater control over your images and how you display them in the form of style you use to display your images and then guys last but not least on our list the eighth underrated Wix feature is mobile menu customization so the first part of this is how do I get to the mobile editor right all you have to do is click this switch to mobile button up here in the top left. Click switch to mobile and then what that'll do is it'll take you to the mobile editor. And then if this is your first time editing in mobile, you'll get this nice little meet your mobile site and let's go. 
and then you could go ahead and design your mobile menu. So this is what I mean, mobile menu customization. It's no surprise that our world is going mobile, that the majority of Google searches come from mobile devices today. So you want to make sure that you have the best mobile site possible. Your desktop site is just as important, but your mobile site is becoming increasingly more important. So you can't lack on this. A lot of people build a beautiful desktop website but never touch their mobile site and that causes a problem when the majority of your search is coming from mobile so you could come through here and you could actually design your mobile menu look and feel and you could see if you choose it all center you could click next you could customize the header of your mobile site if you want a fixed header if you want one that fades out it's completely up to you click next you can choose uh, quick actions so this allows you to create floating quick actions, no action bar, or on the bottom. If you're any type of service provider like plumber, doctor, dentist, lawyer, any of those, you probably want this quick action bar because it allows people to take quick action straight from your mobile site with a click of a button. So if you want someone to call you, they click phone, pops up your phone number, starts calling. If you want someone to email, they click email, it'll pop up your email with an email prompt so it already gets the message started. If you want someone to chat with you or chat with you on Facebook, you click Facebook or chat and it'll automatically start chatting. So these are quick call to action buttons that'll get someone to start taking action with your company. Highly recommended. Then you click next, you could add a back to top button and then you're good to go into the mobile editor. And just like that, you've got a mobile site. The great news is Wix also has a page layout optimizer in here. So all you have to do is click optimize now on each of your pages and Wix will optimize your mobile site to be as best as possible for mobile. And that's a beautiful tool. So do not lack on your mobile website when designing in Wix. <coughs> Excuse me. Other than that, guys, these are the eight underrated Wix features you probably didn't know about but you do now so congratulations i hope you find a way to start utilizing all of these into your wix website as they all serve a purpose and they all serve a role i look forward to hearing your progress comment down below if you enjoy this video if you enjoy these features and let me know which one is your favorite which ones you've utilized and i'm curious to hear how you enjoy those features Drop a like if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to click that subscribe button in the bottom right so you never miss any Wix Training Academy uploads. It's been an absolute pleasure and if you guys are considering whether or not you have the time or resources available to build out your own Wix website, go ahead and check out our uh, website wixtrainingacademy.com, link in the description below and we are available for hire. My team and I are excited on the edge of our seat waiting to start your next project with you. So I'm excited to learn more about you and discover how we can take this next step in our process. I'm the founder and CEO of Wix Training Academy, Michael Patrick Strauch, and I'm wishing you the best rest of your day.